This morning on her show, Megyn Kelly invited a panel of guests to discuss whether or not it's racist for white people to wear blackface on Halloween. Take a look. But, well, what, but what, what is racist? Because, but, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface yes, yes. on Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. Like, I, that, okay, back that, when I was a kid, that was okay. There was a controversy on The Real Housewives of New York with Luann as she dresses Diana Ross and she made her skin look darker than it really is. And people said that that was racist. And I don't know, I felt like, who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wants to look like Diana Ross for one day. I, I don't know how, like, that got racist on Halloween. I, now, commenting on the racially charged issue of blackface is not something I'm comfortable doing. But I am! First of all, I heard about this, and when I went to watch it, I started typing in Megyn Kelly defends blackface. It auto-filled Megyn Kelly defends Brett Kavanaugh, so I knew no matter what, I was about to watch a terrible video. And I was right! Megan said, I don't know how blackface is racist on Halloween. It's not racist on Halloween. It's racist every day. There is no magical day where you can wear blackface with no repercussions. <laughs> Unless all of your friends are white. And I'm guessing all of Megan Kelly's friends are white. <laughs> Speaking of a bunch of white people, this panel! White, white, <laughs> white, white. Ooh, we're so very white. How are you gonna have a bunch of white people sit together and figure out what's racist? White people don't get to decide what's racist. If I punch you, I don't decide if it hurts or not. You do. And it won't because I'm not punching a white lady because I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Megyn Kelly said, blackface wasn't racist when I was a kid. You're 47. Racism wasn't invented 40 years ago. 40 years ago, they were just getting into the swing of it, baby! <laughs> Today, it's perfected. You may think the meanest thing I could do is call Megyn Kelly's words racist, but really, the meanest thing I did was tell everyone she's 47, which, <laughs> if you round up, is 50. She's 50, tell everybody. Amber, that's ageist! I'm kidding! Uh, she's 60. Amber! What? I'm 103. I just look this good, because black don't crack. <laughs> Look, Megyn Kelly asked a question, and here's the answer. Blackface is racist because it turns black people into a costume and divorces them from their humanity. We're people, not costumes. But more importantly, it ignores the severely racist context in which blackface was introduced into this country, and actions don't exist separate from their context. <sighs> <laughs> Woo! I agree! Megyn Kelly issued an apology later, but she wouldn't have had to do that if she had invited a black person into the conversation in the first place. But honestly, you shouldn't need a black panelist to explain to you you should have figured out 57 years ago. Amber! Whatever. <laughs> She's 75. But for someone, for someone with a morning show, Megyn Kelly, you sure are late as hell. Amber Ruffin, everybody. Oh, oh here she goes. And there she goes.